from Petco Park in beautiful downtown San Diego. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Seattle Mariners and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And the right-hander with the good curveball, Joe Musgrove. But, Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Here's Josh Rojas. And that's outside. And we're underway from San Diego. The 1 0. Right, Top of the move. zone for a called strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Left hand batter waits. That's, that's down ball. and in. The 2 1. That's the ball. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. And there's ball four. Leading off tonight for Seattle. Stepping in, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. For the second. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. You've got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Base is empty. Oh. Just off the inside edge. Lifted in the air down the left side. Got it. Nice grab. And there's two down. Now Scott Service lined up for the Seattle Mariners. And a big factor for them in recent games, Luke Rayleigh. Really an essential part of this lineup. Top five in slugging in the American League right now. He's putting up some pretty big power numbers. And when you can get that kind of production out of a player like this, I'll tell you what, it's only going to make the team better as a whole. Julio Rodriguez stands in now, looks at that one inside. Just missed. Two balls, no strike. And a big swing and a miss. Two and one. Not even close there. Three and one. Two out spaces empty. Three and one, and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Cal Raleigh stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs. And that's outside. Two balls, no strikes. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, He's in a favorable hitter's count. Yeah, well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Oh, 
That one spoiled and they count now two and one. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Rodriguez off the first with two away. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. One left for Seattle. And now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Diego. And today's starter, Bryce Miller. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, what quickly stands out to me for this guy is that he comes in with a three to one strikeout to walk ratio on the season. So when you consider consistency, the ability to get swings and misses and to limit base runners, that's Way critical in winning go. games today, especially when teams are depending on the big swing home run to win ball games. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Oh. All one low. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And a pitch. High chopper to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. And a one-two. That one ripped left field. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Now a relay to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a cool stroke. So up next, Ha Sung Kim. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. All one, no strikes. One and no. And it's second. Oh, that two. one missing inside. Two and oh. Next oh, offering upstairs. Oh. And there's the automatic. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And the pitch. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Got it. And now it's Manny Machado. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate. Only two hits over the last five games. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. First and second, no outs here in the second and final game of the series. And that one is inside. One I got one to call three. NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. And a base hit. Headed for the play. Here's the throw. The tag is in there. Well, it comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was great. Anytime you hit the line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. In there at the knees. It's 0-1. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. 
Tatis waits. And a swing and a miss. No ball. For the K. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's that what a good it. power pitcher can do. Here. He's hitting the spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Can make it a five game hitting streak with the knock in this one. And he'll one. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. One one now. Woo. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Gets a piece and stays alive. One out, runners at first and second. Another one, two. Next offering misses down and away. No, oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's sometimes where pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six okay. or seven pitches on okay. one hitter. In the air, out towards right center. Touches down. That's a hit to third. Not in time. Yeah, he's safe. <laughs> Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth went deep in the ball game last night. That's in there. Strike one. The pitch. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Machado at third. Capusano over at first. So going away. him looking and he did not like the call well I think that's a case of overthinking right, right there right. got three straight no fastballs no looking no in the 0-2 right. count just a part of that now batting Jerickson Profar gets the call and that's strike one corners are occupied with two down Profar gets a piece there. On the ground, Rojas. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. It's the Padres two and the Mariners nothing. Second inning Luke set to go. Here. And now for the Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. Luke. Luke. Rayleigh. Musgrove back to work. So after oh, scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Whoa. Just missed. Good ball. 
Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers, they work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff. Tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Lifted in the air right center field. Sizes this one up. Squeezes it. And there's one away. The better now, Jorge Polanco. There's a strike. The Padres up by two here at the top of the second. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And now, Ty France. Outside. Inside corner for a strike. That one hit to right. Tatis drifts towards it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for him there. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Padres two and the Mariners nothing. Here at Petco Park, and now the DH to Capita Marcano. The right-hander back to work. Splits the plate. Strike one. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. Next offering misses. And one and one. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 oh, count. Instead, it's 1-1. One, one. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And at first, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Jose Azucar. <laughs> Throw to first, Marcano back in standing. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. And the pitch. On its way to the corner. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here. This one in the air right field. Hanniger has a beat on it, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. No foul. Number two. Second baseman, Xander Bogarts. And here is Xander Bogarts. Right. 
in there at the knees. One one. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. And ball one. Man at first, one away. Just missed. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. Right hander kicks deals. That's the ball. Three and two. Hit on the ground might be two. Looks to second. That's one. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We played two full. It's the Padres two and the Mariners nothing. New inning getting started. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. Hanniger, a former All-Star, in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and they traded for him earlier this year. First pitch misses. And there's a strike. And here it comes. In there at the knees for a strike. And a one-two again. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Perfect. Luis Urias, the next to hit, takes ball one. How about this one, Boog? In 2023, Arias hit grand slams for Boston in back-to-back -back plate appearances. It happened on different days, but he still became the first Red Sox player to do it since Jimmy Fox in 1940. He swings and fouls one off. And he hits a ground ball right side. Bogarts handles the chance. Fires over to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The batter, the second base, John Rojas. Back to the top of the Seattle order. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Rojas. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Chase that time. One, two now. That oh. one is upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. The Mariners trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Bad, Worked himself into a good count. Good really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Pitch misses inside. 1-0.
And that one a little bit high. Rojas leads off first with two down to the inning. That oh. one misses. Three and O. Oh. Julio Rodriguez getting on deck circle. And that's, that's ball four. Ball four. Thank you, mate. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. He reached out a walk his first time. Close, but called a ball. Ball one. one. Okay. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. That one fouled off. Two on, two outs. Two in three. the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Just elite level speed on display right there. And he needed every bit of it. Absolutely Ooh. hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Cal Raleigh, the next to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That clips the inside corner for a strike. One strike. Two outs. Bases are full. That's inside. Next offering way upstairs. Dangerous hitter at the plate. And down long strikes he goes. Huge strikeout there. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? Everything they want, but they won't do. These days, people say a lot of things, but they won't do things that they want to, man. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And we're back. As we go to the last of the third. So digging in now for San Diego, Hassan Kim. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Right through there for a strike. Foul ball. And the righty deals. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. The one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Here's Benny Machado now. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. There's a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. And a foul ball. Oh. 
Only two now. Liner, base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Good job getting the foot down so he can catch it out front. Pull it, turn on it nicely for the knock. So man aboard one down, and it's Tatis at the play. Inside just missed. They'll say this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses, and it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose fathers also played the majors. And another ball. Yeah, and beyond that, all the other men in those clubhouses that sort of take you under their wing as a son or a nephew and Rino. show you some of the tricks of the trade. It's just invaluable, that type of experience. And that one clips the corner. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge good. the guy with the fastball. No. One down. No. And now the catcher comes up to him. Luis Campusano. One for one with a single so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And Singy, if you factor in May's 660 career homers and the 301 batting average on top of his defense, we might just be looking at the greatest all-around player in Major League history. That one ripped. Rodriguez racing after it. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Here comes Machado around third. The relay to the plate, but it's our line. And they lead by three. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. One away, runners at second and third. Now here is Jake Cronenworth. And a good eye there. Two on, one out. That's in for a strike. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Austin Volk appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Stout also getting ready. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Moving under it. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. The tag. See. And they lead by four. There we go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Now it's the switch hitting outfield. Jerks in pro form. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Campusano on its second with two down. Rojas. Whips it to first. Inning over, and it could have been worse. They put two on the board with a couple of hits, no errors, and one left. Three innings complete. It's the Padres four, and the Mariners nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. Rayleigh. And the right hander back to work. No, that's a ball. And the 1 0. 
He was late there. Strike one. One ball. One strike. And a 1-1. One -one. Swung on. Belted. That one's carrying. And it is gone. He sends it out of here. His 23rd of the year. And they inch closer. It's 4-1. That home run narrows the gap between these two. This one isn't over yet. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Jorge Polanco digs in now. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. This one smoked on its way out of here. A gigantic blast. And they close the gap. It's 4-2. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Bogarts fields it cleanly. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Went down on strikes his first time through. Whoa. One ball, no strike. One down, base is empty. Oh. And that one clips the corner. Next offering oh, is down low. Two balls, two strikes. And it skips in the dirt. And a payoff pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. They just keep handing out gifts, Boo. Or are we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. Man at first with one gone. Here's Luis Arias. He's over one. And that misses off the outside edge. across in the inning top half of inning number four the one one is fouled off
swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Profar makes the catch. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder the coming open right. instead of staying Second closed. Eight. If he does wow. that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So the lineup flips over. And up next for Seattle, Josh Rojas. And that's outside. And that is ball one. The pitch. Left field. Profar sizing this one up. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 4-2. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth to Capita Marcano. Miller back to work. All one there. The 1 0. There's a strike. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. And another ball. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. The center fielder, number Jose Azucar, getting ready to hit. He's over one. that's inside. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. And there's a ball. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. The 2 2. Keeps the back going with a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death with two strikes. You're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. I'll tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second and final game of the series. Ball and that one. one is inside ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Right side. Hanniger makes the grab, and that's the inning. Not everyone's made it, we say. It's not enough of what we need. A lot of what we need is in the air that we breathe. Lost and being content, heaven sent from the day we met. All set for the we start of the inning. Here. And now for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. Crawford. And he deals. Pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That one finds the zone, and the count is 0 and 2. The shortstop takes the ball, kicks, and deals. 
halfway high. Ray Ball. Chase that time. See another payoff pitch. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. And that one fouled off. The M's down by a pair, and we're at the top of the fifth. One down, base is empty. And a curve is down and in. Two straight. Righty to the plate. Fouls it off. Still one and two. The pitch. And another ball. Two balls. Two strikes. Two and two. Bogarts handles the chance, slings the first, and the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Up next is the the Cal. Cal, Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Lifted in the air, right field. Tatis drifts towards it, and that'll do it. Back here in San Diego, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and now Ha Sung Kim. Line of the pitch. That's the ball. One and out. The pitch. Right. Fastball for a strike. One and two. One and two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And now one away. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. This one in the air. On the move. He's got it. Two down. Now bad. Right field. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, 
It's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. France pulls that one down, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars, as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Back here at Petco Park, now the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. And the pitch. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Cronenworth sizes this one up, and there's one down. Now that designated hitter, Jorge. Now it's the DH, Jorge Polanco. He's already homered in this game. Fastball in for a strike, 0-1. Double-barreled action in the bullpen for San Diego. Steven Wilson up and throwing. Patino, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. The Padres holding on to a two-run lead. And we're in the top half of the sixth. That catches the outside corner. 0-2. Ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. The back. The first base. Ty France. Ty France up next for the Mariners. There's a strike at the knees. Slider misses outside. Ooh. Next offering is in for a strike. Popped up. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Offense held in check there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Padres four and the Mariners two. New pitcher for the Mariners, Austin Volk. And he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Now the catcher Leading up to hit, Luis Campusano. The catcher. Luis Campusano. Wide of the pitch. <laughs> and a pitch. Oh. That's off the mark. One and one. That's outside. Two and one. Fouls one off. Two and two. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Urias the first in time. And a couple of quick outs. Jerkson Profar, the next up for the Padres. All one, no strikes. Some activity in the Mariners' bullpen. Gregory Santos appears to be getting ready for manager Scott's service. 
Saucedo, a left hander, also throwing. Two down, nobody on. Fall off foul. Right handed reliever. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And that's a base hit. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Now here is Tukapita Marcano. That one gets down for a hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Next for the Padres, Jose Azucar. Boog, I'd say he's due. The bottom of the order here, Boog, you got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. Belton fires. And that's in for a strike. Oh, two. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Yeah, the count one and two. Two outs. High in the air, out to right. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Padres leave a pair, but they still lead this one four to two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Steven Wilson. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Strike at the bottom of the zone. Got him swinging. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter, it's so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. So digging in, Luis Urias. And yeah, there's the strike. Down, base is empty. No, that one no. misses, and the count is one and one. Good no, eye right there. The Two and one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and three. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. 
the Padres leading by two here in the top half of inning number seven. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. Didn't go. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. And a base hit. So he battled through a long at bat and earned himself a hit. Oh, well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can drive a ball like that. More often than not, you're picking up a knock. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. One for two. There's the strike. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Yeah, that's outside. Now one and two. Tying run at the plane. And there's a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Back-to-back -back back base hits. Nice line drive to the pull side, headed out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Luis Patino on the pitch here. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. A strikeout and a walk. Fouled off. He was late. With the go-ahead run at the plate here in the second and final game of the series. Look at him. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. And stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. Golden opportunity right here. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Just missed. One off. That's off the corner. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in a run. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 2 0. Popped up. Foul territory behind the play. He's under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Oh, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Oh, what a no. Big spot. Two out, both the tying and go ahead runs are aboard. Oh. Just oh. missed. Next oh. offering is in for a strike.
Slider misses outside. Fouls one away and now three and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. That's ripped to right down the line. The throw is over his head. Now Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. And up next for Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. He's already homered here in this one. And there's the strike. Oh, one. And a pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. Here's the 0-2. One and two. Raleigh stands at second with two gone. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. But three runs come across in the inning, all on this three-run double. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the seventh, here's Xander Bogarts. Both back to work. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. One, one ball, no strike. And a good eye there. Two balls, no strike. called just inside I think and on the mound he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation doesn't seem to be too bothered by it though but he clearly thought it clipped the corner looking to get the tying run on base and there's the automatic and that one fouled off Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. They still get the strikeout. You know, you often think of sliders bad. more for that uh, horizontal uh, movement, but uh, most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. A good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. So up next, Ha Sung Kim. through there for a strike. Oh. 
And the righty deals. That catches the corner. Holding on to a one run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. That one just misses. And the one two misses to even the count. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, going to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Machado stands in now and watches strike one. Pitch. And now it's even up. There's a strike. One ball. Two straight. And here it comes. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. Kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked and he got it done. Two outs, runner at first. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Little chopper rolls foul. And the next pitch is way outside. Field, really under it. He's got it, and that is out number three. Padres leave one, they trail it five four. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Tommy Nance. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now at the plate, Jorge Polanco. One for three. The pitch. And he deals. And there's a foul ball. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Let's take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. And now for Seattle, Ty France. Swings through that. No ball, one straight. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, 
This to center field. Azokar settles under it, makes the grab, two down. Up next to Seattle, the right fielder, Mitch. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Two down, nobody on. Foul off left side. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two outs. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the M's five, Padres four. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Matt Brash. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. Luis Campusano now at the plate. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The pitch. That one finds the zone. And it's 0-1. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Andres Munoz appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Spire, the power lefty, up as well. Right-hander kicks, deals, and fouled off. The 0-2. And that one missing low. Sharp grabber. That's through for a base hit. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Time when the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. With the tying run on at first, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Good That's eye in that spot. Left-hand batter waits, and it's even up. Just off the outside edge. Kicks and deals. Caught him looking for the K. Jerks in profile will hit next. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. First pitch, and he just misses. What a note. Lifted in the air, out to left. Rayleigh has this one sized up. 
Brings it in. And now it's going to be Tukapita Marcano. That's a slider for a strike. Right into the play. That one misses the zone. And it's a ball and a strike. This one high in the air to left center. Rodriguez racing after it. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. And that is the inning. One left for San Diego. Still down a run. It's five to four. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the third baseman, Luis Urias. And a pitch. That That's misses the, the zone. One and oh. One ball. No strike. Swing and he breaks his back. Cronenworth throws down to first. Now one gone in the night. Well, as a hitter, it can be kind of tough. You get a hard-throwing reliever that comes in the ball game. You don't know exactly what his pitches are doing, and that clearly blew him up on the hand, sawed off that bat. I'll tell you what, the bat companies, they're pretty happy when guys like this come in out of the bullpen. Back to the top of the lineup. Next to hit, Josh Rojas. Ball one and a pitch inside. One down, base is empty. Nope, Two balls, no strike. strikes to count. And the pitch. And base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. The bat, bat number three, shortstop. JP. And now the shortstop, JP Crawford. And a foul ball. The belt and fires. That one fouled off. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. The shortstop takes a ball. Here comes a pitch. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Balls it in to it. Up next is the line. The center field. Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. Up next for the Mariners, he's a guy who does it all. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Ball oh. one there. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, 
just a joy to watch. Two outs to third. Handled by Machado. They get the force, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the M's five, Padres four. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Andres Munoz. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Well, one run game. Stepping in for San Diego, Jose Azucar. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. The pitch. In the air to left center. Has a beat on it. Makes the grab one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game no and get the first hitter he faces just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Bogarts in the box with one away as he takes ball one. A one run lead here the last half of inning number nine. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now Last chance for the Padres. So digging in now for San Diego, ha -sung Kim. One finds the zone. It's 0-1. They're down to their final strike. One strike away. That misses. Going to count one and two. Stairs. Right handed reliever fights it off. He'll see another. Two down, nobody on. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Mariners hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. Can't be a reminder to please.